Welcome to our online class. This is Ma'am Teresa Tobal. Join me to enjoy mathematics. Are you ready to learn about the general term of the arithmetic sequence? Let's go. Solve for the general term of the arithmetic sequence 10, 13, 16, and 19. First term is 10, second term is 13, third term is 16, fourth term is 19. So the common difference from the first up to the last term that is equal to 3. We may subtract third term minus the second term. So 16 minus 13 that is also equal to 3. Or 13 minus 10 that is also equal to 3. So the equation, this is arithmetic. So that is linear. So a sub n equals the deeper n times n. So let us try. What could be the general term of this arithmetic sequence? Let us replace all the value to the given equation that becomes replace n by 1, that is 3 times 1. Replace n by 2, 3 times 2. Replace n by 3, that is 3 times 3. Replace n by 4, that is 3 times 4. Based on the given, what do you think is the number to be added to get 10? Any idea? Correct, 7. Because 3 times 1 is 3 plus 7, that is equal to positive 10. How about the second term? The number to be added is equal to 7 also. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 7, that is equal to 13. So how about the third term? The number to be added is equal to 7. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 7, that is equal to 16. How about the fourth term? 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 7 is equal to 19. So it means the general term of this arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to 3n plus 7. What is the easiest way to identify the general term of the arithmetic sequence if the given is 10, 13, 16, and 19? So let us identify the common difference. So the common difference from first up to the last term that is equal to 3. So to get the common difference, that becomes 13 minus 10, that is equal to positive 3. So this is arithmetic sequence. So a sub n is equal to the common difference, that is 3, times the n. And what is the number before 10? So 10 minus 3, so that is equal to positive 7. So the general term of the arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to 3n plus 7. So that is the easiest way to solve the general term of the arithmetic sequence. How about number 2 in the arithmetic sequence 30, 25, 20, and 15? So the first term is 30, the second term is 25, the third term is 20, the fourth term is 15. The common difference from first up to the last term that is equal to negative 5 because 15 minus 20 that is equal to negative 5 20 minus 25, that is also equal to negative 5. 25 minus 30 is equal to negative 5. So this is arithmetic again. So a sub n equals the common difference, that is negative 5 times n. So let us try. Let us replace n by 1, so that becomes negative 5 times 1, the second term. Replace n by 2, that is negative 5 times 2. Replace n by 3, that is negative 5 times 3. Replace n by 4, that is negative 5 times 4. What do you think in the first term to be added to get positive 30? So negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. How to get 30? So it means you need to add 35. So negative 5 plus 35 is 30. Or 35 minus 5, that is also equal to 30. How about the second term? The number to be added or subtracted is equal to, again, positive 35. 35 minus negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. So negative 10 plus 35 is positive 25. Third term, negative 5 times 2 is 15. Again, the number to be added is equal to 35. Negative 15 plus 35 is positive 20. In the fourth term, negative 5 times 4, again, the number to be added is positive 35. Negative 20 plus 35, that is equal to positive 15. What do you think is the general term of the arithmetic sequence? That is a sub n is equal to negative 5n plus 35.
Let us try again the other solution to solve the general term of the arithmetic sequence if the sequence are 30, 25, 20, and 15. The common difference from first up to the last term is equal to negative 5. And how to get negative 5? By means of subtracting the second term, 25, minus the first term. So 25 minus 30, that is equal to negative 5. So the common difference is equal to negative 5. This is arithmetic, so that could be mean as a sub n is equal to negative 5n. And what is the number before 35? So the number before 30 is equal to 35. Why? Because 30 plus 5, that is equal to 35. So it means the general term of this arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to negative 5n plus 35. So any solution you may use to solve the general term of the arithmetic sequence. Let us practice what you have learned. Direction, give the general term of the arithmetic sequence. Question number one in the sequence 1, 5, 9, 13, and 17. What is the general term of this arithmetic sequence? I give you 15 seconds. Go. Okay, time's up. The answer is a sub n is equal to 4n minus 3. How about number 2? 11, 8, 5, 2, and negative 1. 15 seconds, go. Okay, time's up. The answer is equal to a sub n is equal to 3n plus 14. Number 3. Negative 9, negative 4, 1, 6, and 11. What is the general term of this arithmetic sequence? Go. Okay, time's up. The answer is a sub n is equal to 5n minus 14. I hope you learned a lot about the general term of the arithmetic sequence. Any question? Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.